Hey everybody, it's Christopher Small, the owner of CMS Law Firm. Today, we're gonna to talk about what a charitable remainder trust is, otherwise known as a CRT, sometimes also known as a CRUT, C-R-U-T, sometimes also known as a CRAT, C-R-A-T. It's a day full of acronyms. Um, all right, uh, before we get to that though, I wanna remind you, as always, if you have questions about this or anything else related to estate planning, and you want to talk with us about it, you can do so for free by going to estatemeeting.com. All right, what is a charitable remainder trust? Um, warning, we're going to get in the weeds here for a minute because that's what you have to do uh, with these kinds of trusts. Um, but to start, a charitable remainder trust is an irrevocable trust, which means once you create it, you cannot change it, Okay. And uh, the purpose of this trust is two, twofold. A, to get to charity, and B, to get a lot of tax savings in a lot of different ways, all right? And um, the way that this trust works is you start with an asset that has a low um, tax basis and a high current value, okay? And um, the tax basis is basically the, the, um, the price that you paid for the thing. So for example, let's say you bought a share of Microsoft stock and you bought it for $1 and now it's worth a million dollars, okay? The difference between the one million or the $1 and the million dollars is the taxable gain that you have on that share of stock. And if you sell that stock um, while you're alive, then you would have to pay a tax on that gain, all right? Not good. And if you have a, a, a lot of assets, and a lot of them have appreciated in this way, you may be looking for some ways to um, reduce or eliminate that capital gains tax to create some income for yourself, to give to charity, and uh, a charitable remainder trust can do that for you. All right, so um, here's how it works. You've got this asset. Let's just stick with this Microsoft stock share. You create a trust, charitable remainder trust, and um, what you do is you transfer your share of stock into this trust, okay? Normally, when you do something like this, it is considered a gift and the tax basis remains the same, okay? Um, and you also have to, uh, um, you'd also have to uh, file a gift tax return for this. In this particular case, you do not because it's gonna go to charity. Um, you don't have to, you don't have to do that, okay? Period, basically. Once it goes into this trust, then the trustee of the trust, basically the manager of the trust, is directed to sell that asset, to liquidate that asset, okay? Now, um, normally, like I said, when you sell the asset, you're gonna have to pay capital gains tax on that, um, on that sell, on that sale. But because this is a charitable remainder trust, you don't have to. The reason for that is the, the majority of that, um, of that of the proceeds from that sale are going to go to charity okay so they sell the asset they liquidate it they get the million dollars now into the trust they have to pay zero capital gains tax on that all right now at that time you are going to get to take a charitable deduction for for a certain amount kind of there's math involved um, but a certain amount of a charitable deduction in the year that you transfer the asset okay so you're going to get immediate tax relief from the charitable deduction, you're going to get immediate tax relief from the uh, lack of capital gains tax. And then what's going to happen is the trustee is going to take that million dollars and they are going to invest that million dollars into some income producing or some appreciating assets. Okay. And what happens is the appreciation or the income that's generated from those assets is paid out to you every year. So you just get that money. You know, let's say it's 5%. A return on on that million dollars that is fifty thousand dollars every year you basically would catch fifty thousand dollars okay and then what happens is when you die the the um, remainder of the assets that are in that charitable remainder trust are then given to the charity or charities that you have chosen and again um, that money doesn't count as part of your estate for estate taxes um, you get to keep the you get that income coming into you and you don't have to pay the capital gains tax you get a charitable deduction. It's quite amazing. The key though, is you have to have an asset that's appreciated a lot for it to really um, see a significant uh, 
uptick, the significant benefit from this kind of trust. Okay? So that's it. Hopefully it didn't get too in the weeds for you, but um, that's what a charitable remainder trust is. Now there's two ways that you can receive your distributions. Um, you can receive a fixed amount every year, like X dollars every year, or you can receive an amount based on the appreciation of the assets. Okay, and you can just pick that. Kind of depends on what the market looks like and a bunch of other things. Um, but you have options there. That's why you have the crat and the crut. Okay, um, so that's it. As always, if you like this video, please hit the like button. If you have questions or comments, please let me know. And if you know someone needs to hear this, please share it with them. And if you have questions about this or anything else and you want to talk with us over the phone for free, you can do so by going to estatemeeting.com. All right, that is it. I am Christopher Small. I'm the owner of CMS Law Firm. We do estate planning. We do probate. We do it well. Thank you for your time. Thank you for your attention. I appreciate you. And I'll talk to you again soon. See ya.